People have a wide variety of questions about their cities that they want answers to. For example, where can I find parks, cool architecture, local eating spots, bike rentals? The problem is, although both citizens and cities may be motivated to crowdsource such information, they may not have the time, money, or expertise to build applications that meet the multitude of information sharing needs. That's where Moco Maps comes in. Moco Maps allows non programmers to easily build and deploy their own structured geo crowdsourcing apps on a mobile device in just minutes. Then anyone can add and consume data and mash it up with data from apps created by others. We'll start by showing a simple example of how Moco Maps works. Kate is an avid cyclist, but she's new to the city and always finds it a hassle to locate bike racks when she needs one. It occurs to her that the city could use Moco Maps to help people record and find bike rack locations, and she sets out to create a Moco Maps mini app. She launches Moco Maps on her phone and brings up the Create Moco Maps screen. She records a title for her new mini app, adds a description, and then clicks the Create Form button. That brings her to the Edit Form screen. Here, she'll specify the kinds of data she wants users to supply when they create a data point for a bike rack. Title and location are default fields that will be found in every mini app. Kate also wants to see photos of bike racks, so she clicks on plus and gets a set of common UI widgets. She chooses photo and a photo field gets added to the design of her data point. She also wants people to specify how many bikes a rack can hold, so she clicks plus again and chooses a selection widget. She labels the field bike slots and provides ranges. Finally, she adds a safety field to the Moco map. Users will need to rate the area as sketchy, OK, or safe. When she's done designing the data point, she clicks on Create Form, which takes her back to the mini app creation page. There she clicks on Create Moco Map, and the system takes care of the rest, deploying her mini app within the encompassing Moco Maps phone application. Oh, done! Kate has just quickly built and deployed a new location based crowdsourcing mini app without needing to know anything about mobile phone programming. To get things rolling, Kay adds the first data point to Beantown Bike Racks. She notices a bike rack outside the mall and clicks on plus to place a data point at her current location. She's subscribed to several mini apps, so the Mocha Maps application prompts her for which one should receive the data point. She supplies the requested information for the data point, a photo, a title, bike slots, and a safety assessment. The location is supplied automatically by her phone's GPS. And that's it. She presses save and the data point is now in the mini app for other Moco Maps users to see and use. How cool is that? Alex is also a Moco Maps user. He's subscribed to the Beantown Bike Racks mini app as well as several others of interest such as vegetarian delights and pretty picnic spots. This afternoon he wants to grab a veggie wrap for lunch and eat it somewhere nice outside. Since his bike is his mode of transport, finding a bike rack in his lunch vicinity is key. He brings up Moco Maps, checks out the downtown, and notices some clustered pins near the mall. When he checks these out, he realizes that not only is there a bike rack right outside the mall, but there are a couple vegetarian-friendly restaurants and also a nice picnic area outside. He's sold, and off he goes. Moco Maps is crowdsourcing squared. Not only is the data crowdsourced, but the apps themselves are crowdsourced too. At IBM, we're interested in how social technologies can help cities in the 21st century become smarter. Some possible everyday application areas include civic engagement, tourism and entertainment, support for mobile field workers, and citizen science. Beyond these everyday application areas, Moco Maps can also be used for emergency preparedness and management. These kinds of mini-apps are good for communities, and we envision that they will ultimately make cities more vibrant and livable.